Hi guys and welcome to another episode of 100% Walkthrough Dark Souls 2. So today we're going to be going to the Lost Bastille, Bastille, however you want to call it, whatever. I'm not sure how you meant to pronounce that, but anyway, let's get going. So first we're going to come from the No Man's Wharf way, and we're going to quickly hop into this cave. Obviously we're going to do it from the other way as soon as I finish this way. Um, there's going to be a meeting point where it's a bonfire. I'm going to get there from this way and then go there from the other way. So what we want to do when we get up to the top of this um, elevator, we're going to get in it again, but quickly get back out. And so we're on the outside before it goes back down and we're going to jump on top of it. Um, it's going to be like a bit glitchy or whatever. It's going to like do this weird jumps on top of it. But still, this is actually going to allow us to come all the way down and get this item, which is going to be a scimitar and a repair powder. But anyway, we're just going to come all the way back up normal. And that's pretty much all there is in this room. On the top floor where we come out of the elevator, there's going to be a few rooms around the side, like cages. Um, in one of the rooms, there's going to be an item. I'm not quite sure which room it is, but I think it's it's in one of the corner rooms. The the other locked door ones you can't open in any possible way, so there is so soulable proud knight, and that's all there is in here. So what we're going to do is come up the the stairs here. So in the third one to the right, there's going to be an item in in the far corner, which is kind of two coming through. And on the fifth one to the left, there's going to be the first bonfire in this place, which I already had lit. So anyway, this video is actually going to be a long one. It's going to be at least 20 to 25 minutes because we are actually going to also do the Belfry Luna um, side secondary level where we've got the Gargler boss. Um, that's quite long as well. It's not extremely long. It's nowhere near as long as the actual level. But as you should all know, this level's actually got some quite pretty... Um, in depth to it and a lot of hidden doors and shit so that way i'm just going to leave the next episode to be the sinner boss battle and that level which is quite short but anyway once we kill this hades knight guy we're going to get the spear off of him there's various ways of getting down here the probably the best most useful way is to come over here and jump on top of this guy that way get a jump attack on him and if you do it correctly and break it below him you can get a second jump attack on him which does like massive damage to him when he falls to the ground there is one last way to get down here, apart from these steps over here, which is obviously the most obvious way. But there is one last way to get down, so we're going to come from the top here, and we're going to jump down here. And around this corner to the right, there's actually going to be a human effigy. So you can come back here and just hop off to be down where the rest of the thing is. But anyway, in this area, there is going to be one hidden door and one hidden item. So the hidden item, what you got to do is come over here to this um, wooden structure and just um, hit it a few times. We're going to get a learner scroll from the top of it. And this one's not going to have anything on it, so we're going to come to this door and smash these pieces of wood in. There is um, one item in here. Watch out, there's, there's an enemy behind one of these planks of wood. Just hitting backstabbing if you get him at the right time. But it shouldn't have any problem with this guy anyway. The door behind him is going to have a chest in it. No, sorry, not a chest, just a, a normal item. And watch out for this, these two people, these guys jump on top of you and explode, they're really dangerous, especially if you've got a low HP character. So pick up these two flame butterflies. There's a door here to the left which will actually be opening from the other side later on for a shortcut back. So anyway, once we come back outside, instead of carrying on directly to the right or whatever in front of us, we're going to stick to the left behind this wall. At the end we're going to find a metal chest with an Estus flask shard in it. So make sure you don't miss that, it's, it's quite missable even though it's not really hidden but a lot of people don't really even um, think about going behind this wall. So we're going to pick that up along with a large titanite shard. So now we're going to make our way back to the courtyard and stick to the right this time. This is actually going to be where we join the two paths up from the other bonfire in the pursuer, just after the pursuer sorry. Uh, I'm going to skip to that bonfire in a second just so you can see where we join the two paths up and all the items we get from the other path. I'm not actually going to unlock the um, bonfire quite yet just because it's easier to unlock from the other side and it's a lot faster so I'm just going to kill these dogs just here and we're going to skip to the other bonfire. So there's the bonfire after the pursuer. Um, it's directly at the start we're just going to stick to the left come round here. Uh, you can go in those windows if you want to activate a bomb to kill everybody in that room. You just drop it down, but we're not going to do that. We're going to come over here, and there's going to be a ring in this uh, chest over here. There's nothing else around here. It's just the antique key and the common silver um, serpent ring. So we're going to come back in this door. There's nothing in this room if you want to try and um, skip it. Even though it's not really hard, I recommend killing everything in it just in case. 
Uh, also, like I mentioned before, if you can't appear from the window, you can just knock one of the barrels down that one, and it will explode all the barrels down the bottom and kill all the dogs. But anyway, from up here, we're going to um, come against this guy, which is basically the other side of the wall from the other way. You don't have to go through that building, you can actually skip over a little wall behind me if you want to skip all that, but I recommend getting the ring and the key anyway. So this door over here, we're going to open it, and here's going to be this, the NPC from last level, which is um, Luca Till. She'll actually, she actually won't help us on the boss of this um, level, she'll help us on the the arch demon in the next episode level, whatever. But we're going to come up here, instead of carrying on right, we're going to come up the ladder and pick up this, jump straight out. And pretty much now it's just direct, we're going to come up there later on, that's where the first boss of this level is, we're actually going to be fighting two bosses, like I mentioned before, one of them is completely secondary. But anyway, first we're going to come on straight, um, kill the enemies down here, watch out for this dog. Uh, they, you can't really see them until you get close to them, but they shouldn't really attack you, especially if you're coming from this direction behind them. To the left here, there's going to be another dog, we'll try and ambush you, and also an item. And pretty much we're we're there at the bonfire which I just mentioned last time from the other direction so it's basically in front of this guy when you go and kill this guy try not to explode the barrel in front of him if not we're not going to really have access to the bonfire I'll show you how to do this in a second so once we've killed him we're going to just tap this um, barrel so it goes down to the wall in front of us sometimes I believe it explodes on its own if you do it enough for us I'm not 100% sure but now all you want to do is activate it with some faith, magic, um, fire, anything you want and it will blow a hole in that wall. As you can see to the left there is where we came from the other direction from the pirate ship so we are basically just join it up. That door is locked but if you open this bonfire it doesn't matter you can just come through this door and you'll basically be there which is going to be a blacksmith. Also going to be loads of chests around here with titanite shards in them. If you are really desperate and you can kill him and get the, ch um, the chest beneath it what he's sat on um, that's gonna just gonna be a hammer or something. It's not really worth killing them, to be honest. Even though you can, as you all know, you can revive the NPCs. That guy's actually gonna be the one where you give the embers to, and he's gonna upgrade all our weapons and give an element to our weapons, whatever we one we want with the embers. So try and keep that guy alive. <laughs> but anyway, now we're gonna carry him back to where I mentioned before, where I said we'll go to the left here, which is technically the right if you're coming from the bottom way. You're gonna come across this bridge into this door. Be prepared for a battle here, make sure you've got top esters, flies and all that, it's going to be loads of enemies. So here they're all going to ambush you, um, if you get too close to the left they're also going to ambush you from the left tower. But once we've killed them we're going to come to the left, which technically both directions lead to the same boss. I'm just going to show both of them, this technically the quicker way. Um, you're going to kill these two and open this door, or this gate to the left. And once you're through there there's going to be another two enemies which are going to go to the... They're actually kind of back off to the passageway where the boss door is. You can go after them if you want or just ignore them even though they kind of go into this door which is the other way up. So the boss battle is obviously in that fog gate we just seen. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to get there from the other direction. So we're going to come here, make sure you kill everybody in this room. There's quite a few of them. And we're going to just hop down the stairs again. There's nothing in this room. Don't open this door just here because that's just going to make you fall off the edge pretty much. Just nothing there, it's just a trap door basically, it's going to lead you to your death. It's a human effigy down here. So once we come up here, we're going to be where those guys were standing in that door. That's why there's an item here, it's just off one of the dead guys I killed from the other direction because they're standing literally in this door. So don't worry about that item. Um, so we're just going to be here in the passageway to the boss battle now. So as you can see that's the other way we came in, we've got both directions open. These doors, this one cage with a item in it, and also if you're in this cage and you're human form, we, we're going to be able to uh, um, summon an NPC to help us with the boss battle uh, to do his quest. It's not going to be Lucatil, it's going to be a Pilgrim Bell, whatever the hell it's called. But anyway, we're just going to go straight into the boss battle now. So there's a boss battle, well, I wouldn't call it boss battle, there's actually three bosses in this um, fight. If you're going to do it on your own, it's not the easiest battle in the world, but if you're getting help from this guy, it's going to be pretty easy. And as you can see, he just about survived. So I would have probably put the whole boss battle in, but because this place is going to be so long and it's going to be two boss battles and the video is going to be really long, I didn't really bother. But anyway. So a lot of people wonder, there's an item up there where I'm facing now and how do you get that? I'm sorry about this cart because I actually got this without recording but I'm going to show you how to get it anyway. So but this is actually going to be a secret door, that one you just seen there, it's to the, to the right, kind of in front of where you drop down from the hole. Just keep spamming the A button or the X button on the wall down the bottom 
and you should find it so it's going to be a ladder in here with a chest at the top i believe this got a husk um spell in it this this door just here is actually going to be an invisible door as well you just spam the x button and there's the item up there so i'm sorry about um not recording that opening the doors but that's the only thing i missed in this level but there you have it you, i'll still show you how to get it up here at the end of these stairs there's going to be a secret door just here uh don't don't do what I did, so I stand it a bit too close. This guy actually explodes, I completely forgot about that. He explodes on top of me and the chest and destroys the chest. I'm not 100% sure what was in that chest. I don't think it was anything too useful. If not, it wouldn't have been a it wouldn't have been a wooden chest and it would have been a metal chest or something too important. But anyway, I apologize for that happening. So in here where there's loads of cages, there's to the the first one to the right is gonna be a sort of nameless soldier. And in this room just here, we're finally gonna to come to another bonfire. So this is technically where we can have two paths. The first, I'm going to do the optional boss level, which is the Belfry Luna. Uh, down here in here, there's going to be an item here in the corner. Watch out for this dog, a Ferris's Lockstone over there. We're going to do that. If not, like basically you've got to have the Ferris's Lockstone to open the level. If not, you're not going to get to this optional level. There's also going to be a chest around here somewhere after we pick up this item, a large club, if anybody's interested in the strength build. We'll obviously be getting the great club in this game afterwards anyway, so whatever. Also, this is the chest, like I mentioned before, the metal one, so it's obviously something quite important. There's the priest charm, I'm actually going to equip that because that's got a quite good um, electric lightning boost to it. But anyway, through here is going to be the optional level, and it's also going to be an optional boss in this level. It's not going to be such a long level, but I recommend doing it if you want to do most of the stuff. Also, in here, there's going to be a covenant which is going to be the bell covenant if you if you join no sorry if you don't join you're going to get invaded later on by a like a bell defend a bell guardian or whatever it's just an npc so if you want to join if you're not interested in the covenant you're in or whatever i recommend join just to not get invaded by that guy um there's something else i had to say about this level so yeah the covenant here you can actually get to in irons keep which is a level a bit further on in the game where there's also an arch demon just in case you're worried about missing that covenant, don't worry about it. There's another place in the game where you can join the covenant. So anyway, once we get to the second floor, we're actually going to drop down this hole, which um, the little hole. In this room, there's going to be a chest over here and another item at the back of the level. This is completely like optional. There's a blue tear stone ring, and also over here, just before hopping out back where we were, it's going to be a skeptic spice. So now we're basically at the start of the the optional level. Here's the second floor where we jump down, just to just so you know basically where we are. We're gonna continue to the third floor. This level's like really short, by the way, so don't worry, you're not missing much. But as as you can see, just watch the video if you want to know which items you're missing. If you don't decide to do this level, but anyway, once we finish off this floor, we're gonna go up these uh, up this ladder here. So this is where the the NPC is going to invade you if you don't join the Covenant. So watch out for that guy because there's a lot of these um, guys as well. They're quite annoying and they've got quite a big damage output on them. Also, there's a chest up here with um, Radiant Herb and Twink, um, Twilight Herb. This There's a guy hiding behind here, which I'm not sure why he didn't attack me, but whatever. Just finish off with him. And the main part of coming up here is to press this lever up here. So this is going to open the gate downstairs so we can fight the gargoyles. Which is pretty much the same gargoyles as on Dark Souls 1, just more of them. And they've got kind of the same attack pattern as well, but anyway, we'll get into that. Like I said, I'm not going to show the whole boss battle because this video is going to be really long if not. If there's obviously any boss what I find really hard or you need help on, I'll upload a separate video, like a tutorial, but whatever. So there's the boss battle. There's going to be a load of statues that are going to keep coming to life one by one after a certain period of time. And if you don't kill them quick enough, you're, there, you're going to be fine against two or three at the same time. So just watch out for this boss. It's not the easiest boss in the world, but it's not the hardest. So anyway, once we've killed him, the first thing we're going to do is come over here to the left before going in the door and pick up this solo proud knight that's all there is up here on this roof so now we're going to proceed into going to this door and jumping down these steps there's going to be a wooden no a metal chest down here and this is pretty much the end of the level there's actually going to be a dead end up dead end up ahead uh, if we pick up the southern ritual band um, we're going to light this bonfire so already as you can see we can't get back up that way and the bonfire is the only way kind of back so anyway, but it's not quite the end of the level. The dead end is actually going to be down here, but it's going to be a key down here to open some of the doors that need opening in this level. 
Watch out for these loaded dogs. They're really annoying ambush. You got you kind of like wait on the ladder. They'll actually all come towards you, but if you wait a second on the ladder, they will kind of start to back off. They won't back completely off, but it gives you a bit more time to get a, to get the first attack in. So anyway, once you have killed them, there's also going to be an, an NPC evader there, but it shouldn't be any trouble. We're going to come over here, get the Bastow key, and also up up here, I believe there is a enchanted Falchion, Falchion, something like that, and Falchion, yeah, whatever the dexterity weapon. Also enchanted if you want that. So anyway, that's like I said, there's a dead end down here, and that's all there is in Belfry Luna. So the only way out of here is to get back to the bonfire and teleport to the bonfire before going down the stairs to get to that level. So obviously now we're going to come the other way. This where the real um, Lost Bastille kind of starts, like this where all the com complicated part starts. Right. So to the left here, there's going to be a big guy. As you can see, my souls are there. So basically don't try and roll through these um, barrels to try and break them to get this item. I rec really recommend just hitting them with your weapon. If not, you'll probably die like I did. But anyway, it's human effigy there. Um, so this where the um, path split. We, they're both going to lead to the same direction. But first I'm just, I'm just going to come upstairs just to show you a more than anything a reference room. Just so you can keep in mind where we are when I come down back here or whatever. So this is, I'm just out like this a reference room. So this is the room where there's a dead end here through that door, an enemy and loads of wine like or barrels or whatever they're meant to have in them. You can actually proceed through that level or that place and get to the end of the level as well. But we're going to be doing that a bit later on just to show you both directions. So for now we're going to come down to the the spiral stairs all the way down to the the bottom where we were. Kill this guy, come across this bridge. So we're going to jump off to the right here. Stick on the roof for a second, go to the right, and pick up this item over here, which is going to be three flame butterflies. Now it's time to jump off the roof and get a, a jump attack on this dog if you want. If you just want to have a bit of more of an advantage on this guy, there's going to be two or three dogs down here. And there's also going to be um, an optional enemy, which I don't really recommend doing. There's no really point. So basically, if you, if you come over here and hit this rock in the... Um, well, there's going to be loads of these exploding guys. I don't really recommend doing that. <laughs> there's no point of doing that anyway. But anyway, once you've killed all the enemies, you can use the key to open this door. And yeah, there's basically the door where I mentioned right at the start of the video where there's going to be a shortcut back from the No Man's Wharf way, which is through the boat way. There's, there was that room which was hidden. But anyway, that's the shortcut back to there. I'm just make, trying to like make it so you know where all the these places kind of join up to each other because it gets a bit confusing in the end. But anyway, we're going to come in here. Um, this door already takes us back out to where we were. There's an item in the corner down here. I think it's the Twin Blade. No, sorry, Royal Great Sword. I'm not sure if that was off of an enemy or off the ground. Sorry. I'm not quite sure. I'll, I'll look it up afterwards. But anyway, we're going to come up these this ladder here to this dead end up here. Nothing more up there, so we're going to obviously jump back down and make make our way around the building again and come to the top. So in this, this room here, it's quite a big room, it's got one or two enemies in it. It's got a lockstone contraption, it's got a statue which is useless, and it's also got a lot of loot in it. Bone staff. Um, I think there's definitely where the twin blade are, maybe. Um, it's in here. There's parrying dagger and the twin blade. But anyway, once we've activated the lockstone, the Faris's lockstone, there's going to be two breakable walls. One's going to have an item in it with one of these um, elevator cages in it, if you want to use that. When it does herb. But we're not going to use that quite yet. I'm going to show you what that does in just a second. First, we're going to go back to the other one and break this one. There's going to be a dead end in here, but it's going to be a chest, obviously. Um, this one's not as important. It's going to be a... So, well, I guess... I don't know why they kind of put that in a... You know, wooden chest, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, you're going to get that silver vessel from there. Um, so up here, there's not really much. There's kind of just another shortcut back to that that bonfire where the roads cross and meet. So if you jump down there, you'd basically be before the first boss. But anyway, for now, we're going to come all the way back here to the this elevator. So at the top, there's going to be an item. And if we go through this door over here, we're going to be back at... When I wouldn't say back because I haven't actually been here yet, but this is technically just above our reference room, which I will show you how to get here soon. That's going to be the next level through that fog gate over there. But just just try and remember that room, and you'll realise when we get there from the other way. But we're not. We're going to go back down here. 
because there's a few items. There's an item just here, which is a bonfire aesthetic, and we can jump back down to get all the way back down to the Ferris's lockstone room. So anyway, that's everything for this side of the level. Now we're going to head back to the second bonfire of the level, which is the one after the first triple boss battle, which we had earlier on. And now we're going to come up to our reference room just to explain how all this um, kind of joins up to each other. It's not too complicated um, once you get to know it, but the first time it is already a bit confusing for everybody. Uh, if you if you just directly want to get through the level without getting all the items, there's definitely the, click, um, the quickest way, even though the other way is extremely long. But anyway... The way to proceed from here is to go around this passageway here and pull this lever and there is going to be this gate where opens. My souls are going to be in front of us here, but ignore those that was earlier on where I won't edit, um, I won't record, I was just exploring a bit, don't worry I didn't get any items, so just do it the, the way I'm showing you now, which is the proper way to do it. So once we get into this room, we're going to head straight on first to the left of this like um, cage. And we're going to press the X or A button on this wall in front of us on what kind of makes it look like a dead end. Watch out, this guy behind us actually quite a few enemies hidden in pots in that room behind us. I'll sort them out in a minute. Here we're just going to spam the button once again on the left hand side wall just to find this hidden passage. Um, you can jump across to get this item to the right over here but we're going to do that in a second. First we're going to come over here and get this ring. Also, this door is going to be the one that takes us back. We'll be checking that out in a minute. It just basically takes you back to just after our reference room. But anyway, so we're going to get this item over here. I just believe it's flame butterflies on a torch, I think it is. Yep. It's nothing too useful if you don't want to risk jumping over there and getting that. So now, like I said before, we're going to come back to this place here. We're just going to drop down this where we opened the two cages and killed a few enemies. And you see the reference room is just there. But there's nothing else in this room. There's a few enemies hidden in these pots. So be careful of them. They're the exploding type but really do do some damage. But anyway, this is going to be the main floor where everything kind of comes together. So to the left, we've got the boss battle. Uh, the fog gate. No, not the boss battle. The fog gate to the next level, um, which we've seen before. Through this door to our left here, this one, we're going to go back to the top of the cage elevator where you came up before. And this one more room we're going to check out, which is up here. So I kind of fucked up here. Watch out for all these enemies. I What I do is one of my systems to make sure I get everything is um, put everything away in the item box in the bonfire. So I forget to have my fragrant plants of your to unpetrify this guy. You should have one if you've been following all my videos. So just unpetrify him. He's going to be the guy that um, trades souls for um the boss souls for unique weapons alongside that other NPC who's saved in shaded woods. So make sure you're on petrifying. In this room, this tiny room before I jump down, there's actually an item behind me. I did I missed in the video, I'm sorry about that. Um it's not gonna be anything too useful. I think it's a petrified dragon bone or anything. So make sure you pick that up before jumping down, just turn around, it's in the corner. Um down here to the right is gonna be eight life gems behind this guy, and that's gonna be the last item of this level, so this is the end of the um, the Lost Bastille. After this, watch out, run across this bridge, roll if necessary to dodge these crossbows, and finally come in the Fudge Gate. So the next video is going to be a short one. It's going to be of Sinus Rise as we just came in here, and it's going to be one of the primeval bosses. So anyway, if you were interested in where to get the bonfire, it's just up here to the right and come up these stairs, and the bonfire is going to be there. So all the items are in the description in order. If this video helped, give it a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.